Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to watch YouTube on a PowerPC Mac in 2020. This is very straightforward, anyone can do it, but there are a couple things that you will need to keep in mind before you do this. You will need to be running Mac OS X 10.5.8 Leopard with all the updates and security patches, whatever, installed. Um, I recommend a 1 GHz or faster G4 with at least a 32 megabyte graphics card and a gigabyte of RAM for this. You could probably get by with 512 megabytes, but I haven't tried it, so don't take my word for that. To demonstrate this, I'm going to be using a 1.25 gigahertz Power Mac G4 MDD, since this isn't nearly close to the fastest Power PC Mac released, and this should be kind of a good reference point, I guess. No. And of course this is a real G4. It's got 1.25 gigabytes of RAM installed. And a GeForce 4Ti. I think it's got a 60 gigabyte hard drive in it too. Maybe a 120. And this card right here is just a USB 2.0 card. So close this back up. I'm even going to be hooking this up on camera just to show you that there is nothing weird going on. Well, no camera tricks or anything. Right. Here's the back of the back of the machine, sorry. I am going to be using an 23-inch ADC monitor for this, Apple Cinema's display. Uh, the keyboard is hooked up to the monitor, so I'll show you that in a second. Zoom that in. Okay. Right here is just a Firewire 400 cable, which is going to be used for internet, since this machine has an old airport card and it does not want to connect to my access point. I'm going to be bridging the network from this Power Mac G5 right up here which is actually on, if you can see that. That's hooked up to ethernet, so this is all what this is for. Put that in. Let's plug it in up here. Just like that. Oh. Hooked up. And finally, power. Go ahead and power this puppy on. I actually do that from the machine instead of the monitor. You can see the light just came on. Oh. And if you can see, there's the keyboard hooked up to the monitor. For this, we are going to be using a browser called Leopard WebKit. There will be a link in the description below to a, I think it's a SourceForge site, where you can just go ahead and download this browser for yourself. Sorry if I'm moving the camera a lot. Oh. All right, just go ahead and log in here. I'll go ahead and actually zoom in a bit. All right. First of all, I am going to show you that this is a real Power PC Mac, of course. Here are the specs of this particular machine. I'll show you the video card too. GeForce 4 Ti with 128 megabytes. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, you are going to need to download the disk image of Leopard WebKit from the SourceForge link. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it right here, just to save time. 
go ahead and mount it. Skip the verification. Okay. So here we have the WebKit disk image mounted. So of course, just like you would with any other application, just copy it to the applications folder. And that could take some time. So I'll be right back when this is finished. So it's pretty much done. Just wait for it to finish. Okay. Once WebKit has copied to your applications folder, Next, you are going to want to open this shell file, which is going to open a terminal window. And it's going to ask you if you want to replace the system certificates, the ones from Sierra. You're going to type Y and type in your password. Once that's done, you can close this terminal window. And we're going to open this enable advanced features shell file which will once again open a terminal terminal window this time it's going to be automatic once it says process completed right here so you can go ahead and quit terminal and close that and eject the webkit disk image next you're going to open your applications find WebKit, which is this little X'd out thing right here, just because I just copied it. Just go ahead and open it. Wait for it to load up. And I've already done this, so it's going to be signed into my YouTube, obviously. So, search YouTube right here. And of course this isn't very fast, we're still on a G4, so keep that in mind, but hey, it's working, so. Just wait for YouTube to load up here. And this is another thing, if you notice, dark mode, this is native dark mode, by the way. I'll go ahead and show you that once the site loads up. So you can see right here, dark theme. I can go in and turn it off and we'll go back to normal, just like that. But I like dark mode, so let's keep it on. Click on a video here, just show this LGR PS2 video. Um, if you're planning on watching 720p, I would recommend a G5 with a decently high-end graphics card. 128 megabytes or higher. If you're on a G4, 360p is probably the way to go. Skip this ad. So, see it's trying to play in HD. I'll go ahead and change that. Um, 360p and turning off annotations will help too. Oops. Just wait for it to get settled in. Go ahead and go into theater mode. From right here all the way to all of it. And one lot from a local collector. And I actually ran into him on a computer forum recently and saw that he had a bunch. Okay. So it took a second, but you can see now that the video is mostly playing smooth. It'll smoothen out over time, but this is pretty good performance for a PowerPC Mac. The audio isn't lagging or anything. I'm not sure why it's kind of stuttering intermittently right now. Usually it doesn't do that, but you can see that the video is playing in a browser, and this is pretty watchable. It's playing at about 
24, 25 FPS. You can see it's playing just fine now. It took a second to get settled in, but pause that. But you can see I'm even in theater mode, and this is a very high res resolution monitor. But you could just see there that YouTube was playing, and I don't want to steal LGR's video, so I stopped it. But feel free to try this yourself. This is really cool. You can see 1920 by 1200. That's a lot of pixels for a G4 to be pushing while streaming YouTube in a browser. I think this is very awesome and has kind of marked a re revival for PowerPC Max. Just as an added bonus, I'll go over here to this G5 machine. already has WebKit installed. This is a very high-end G5, dual 2.0 gigahertz with four gigabytes of RAM. And this will just show you how good YouTube can be on these machines. So, um, find my mouse here. What in the... Hold on, sorry, mouse came unplugged. <laughs> Show you the specs of this machine real quick. Dual two gigahertz G5, four gigabytes of RAM, and the graphics. It's a 6800 Ultra, 256 megabyte. Go ahead and open up WebKit here. Of course, this is WebKit. All right. Go ahead and do a search for YouTube. You can see how much faster it is on the G5s. It really flies on here. Actually, turn up the audio. Once again, native dark mode is working, of course. Sorry for the glare, my window is open. Okay. Click on this video just to demonstrate. Wait for it to load in. Oh, and I am actually doing a time machine backup, so that eats up a lot of the CPU, but anyways, should still work fine. And skip this ad. Jeez. Yeah, funny enough, the ads are the laggiest part. Wait for it to get settled in. Oh, well, it's already pretty much working. You can see it's kind of lagging still, though. Just go ahead and go 360p for this. Uh, bad timing. I would really like to demonstrate the 720p, but whatever. You know what? I almost forgot. Full screen does work. <laughs> After it loads in. And as you can see, it's just playing fine. It's not laggy at all. The G5s are definitely better. I'll try 720p, but the CPU is pretty maxed out right now. So, and you can see when you change the quality, it kind of jumps back to the start of the video for a second, and then it's fine. Hey, look, 720p full screen working. And I even got the little cards on, comes up just fine. You can see HD. So this is really amazing, like I said before, and it may not be the most pleasant thing to use in the world, but it works. YouTube, until recently, was not usable on PowerPC Max, so, and you can see I'm even backing up a million and a half items, and I was just playing just fine. 
if I go ahead and look, even though I'm not even on YouTube, the CPU is pretty maxed out with this. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it cool and or useful. And I hope to see you in another PowerPC Mac video.